know, so like, why don't we start my Mac? It's a process. I'm trying to think. Have, Do have, I have to start all my databases back up again. And I have 16 workspaces. Uh, you know, like Linux has a desk, I have 16. Um, are you talking about like when you look at all the different desktops, not separate emulated desktops? Yeah, and you know, spaces. It's like, it's, uh, 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 uh okay. I was asking because there's desktops and then there, yeah, those things. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I have 49. Damn, I don't know when you need 49. I use them. I have 7 by 7. Jesus. Yeah. And all but two of them have something on them being used right now. I kind of push my systems to the point of breaking. <laughs> wow. I find, I would find, how, how many can you scale a Mac up to? A lot. Okay. Um, I, mean, I, mean, I haven't figured out how many I can scale this Linux system up to. <laughs> just, um, I find though that not all programs are so seamless. It, spaces does sometimes confuse OS ten. Let me tell you, it's, not, it, it, it's the same way in Linux. I have a couple of applications here that uh, where it'll like jump around, or I'll launch it and it'll put it on another one. Or yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and and sometimes like there's like. What I hate is pop-ups from an application. Oh, like, yes, like you trigger a pop-up, but then it's on yeah, every it's space it's until you figure out where the one it is to click to go away. <laughs> and sometimes in OS X, like, it, the pop-up will actually follow you to your space, and you don't realize it when you go back to the home one, and then... Right, it comes up and then you got to figure out which one you were on, and done. Uh, like, oh, wait, I think it's that one! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it, 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 it's... Yeah, it's not perfect. It's useful, but it's not perfect. Yeah, because I like to keep everything separate and, and running in parallel. D this development project over there. No, yeah, that's how I organize mine. Because there's a weak. I don't know if OS X has this weakness. There's a weakness in uh, Linux because the way you get that in Linux is it's compiz. So what I wind up having here because I have a seven by seven is I have the cube, which mine's a polygon because I have seven of them. So if I hit control alt click right now, I'll see a seven sided polygon and that's my seven desktops on this polygon. So basically I have seven of those. So I, I, like I can scroll around left or right between those seven, but I have to go to the equivalent you're talking about to move between the various cubes, between the various polygons. So what I do is I organize projects by row. Like this is gotcha. my work this is my workflow for this thing and then I just control alt left, control alt right and just scroll around this polygon and and I organize things that way. <laughs> okay. Cuz then I can just hot swap without having to do anything. weekend he got sick ah. um, there, there was a schedule conflict and then he got sick so I think we're gonna resume this weekend it, it took me forever to get caught up with getting stuff published but I was able to get to Tuesday's show should be up by now so I finally caught back up <laughs> Uh, let me see what what the devil's going on in the political spectrum. 
I, I think that Santorum is a damn good shot against. Uh, I don't. I don't agree with you necessarily about independence as much as you were talking with him in the show. I think that voter turnout has actually proven there are independents, but um, voter turnout. There, you, something as as uh, an individual can be fairly damned conservative, so much so that one independent um, doesn't like it. But the lesser of two evils. It does come into play. Uh, right? Okay, but here's the problem with the lesser of two evils. But what I, what issue want... is most important to you? I mean, right I'm, now, I'm, see, but that changes. Oh, that uh, changes uh, for uh, okay, but honestly, but if whoever the Republican nominee, uh, this is just something as a person I cannot agree with. It's a it, it, uh, it, uh, if the person who is running as the Republican nominee is running on the platform of criminalize unlawful immigration rather than fix our immigration system and... But, but Obama's doing that already. I, I know that, but okay, and so they're also know. gonna... Uh, that, that's the one, okay, both sides, same evil. Okay, so it's a non-issue. Then you have the issue of some of those people would honestly support the federal government telling people what they can do in their own bedroom. I'm like, I can't support that under any now, circumstances. Now, the thing that is that... <laughs> still, even still, though four more years of Obama is going to change the national the debt to $25 better, trillion. Say that those again? Issues, if the economy were better, those issues would definitely have more weight. Right now, just this election cycle, the economy is number one. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be this, the economy will be number one the next time. The next time, we're probably going to be doing well. And then that means other topics come to the forefront. Well, but, okay, but here's the thing. Uh, even if we have four more years of Barack Obama and we run the U.S. into bankruptcy, and I'm not saying that's necessarily what's going to happen under Barack Obama, but it could happen. It could also happen under a Republican. It could, it, it, it's, you know, just because it's not Barack Obama doesn't mean we won't bankrupt the United States. But even if that happens... Eventually, the economy will recover. It may, we may all be poorer as a result. We may all be footing the bill for things for four or five generations. Now, see, the economy, the economy, the economy, a moral issue is much more solvable. That's what I was trying to say in our last book, Bishop. A moral issue actually is much more solvable and pliable because states take control regardless. Um, when it becomes an economic question, there's not much a state can do against the federal taxation or federal intrusion. Things like that even this in the state of Texas, where we love to try to refute a federal uh, federal monies and, and obligations, it's, it's extremely hard and devastating. And whereas, take abortion. Abortion is actually treated differently in each state. You have a at least common denominator at the federal level from the Supreme Court. It's not really necessarily legislative, and that's perhaps the problem with the, the abortion. It's not a legislative. It's run through the courts. Um, each state. Uh, has a very unique take on it. Uh, like, as in, I don't know if it's Alabama or Mississippi, only has one abortion cl clinic in their state. Well, okay, um, we're setting aside, uh, and, and uh, we want to be careful, because if we get off on abortion, we're going to go off. Marriage. Some states it's legal, some states it's not. That's well, no, and see, that's the thing. <laughs> This, this is this is all stuff that should be delegated to the state. And honestly, if somebody is running on a presidential platform of I am going to take power away from the states and I am going to give it to the Fed and tell everybody you have to think alike, be alike, and not alike, you know, regardless of whether I find something icky uh, or, or not, you know, and, and honestly, I, I, because I'm not, I, I, honestly, I, yeah, but... Uh, Regardless of my personal likes, dislikes, John, here's the thing. Nobody has a right to tell somebody else what to do. And if it, it, I, 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 I'm going to tell you, from an ethical perspective. Person gets five, has a five, you know, when it's across, it's across property, and things like that. You're saying in, in a situation where it's not intrusive. I, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to have a hard time voting. Clearly, clearly there are behaviors that can be damaging and intrusive on other people's property that we, we that it is an obligatory to say, you can't do that. But when you're, this line is crossed. Yeah, but, but I, I mean, those are not the types of lines we're trying to cross. I, I'm, well, what is it you're worried about? Because 
because, because all right, since Hunter Frontrunner, he's already come out and said his personal beliefs on contraceptive are not. He's already said that because the the media took took something he said when he was talking about his own personal feelings, like you just had with the show about your personal opinions on abortion or X, Y, and Z because of your kids, but it's not so for the masses. It's the same scenario. I mean, I don't. He, one, he's Catholic. So uh, he's uh, not, uh, okay, he's if so somebody, can, if 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 whoever the candidates are, can truly keep that separate. That's fine. If I think for a moment they're not going to be able to, and their personal ethics and their personal ethics are dictating what people can and can't do, which is uh, along the lines of things that are not constitutional and are not signed, but simply along the lines of them telling other people what ethics they have to subscribe to. I mean, let's just put it this way: when did this really get even intrusive? There hadn't really been a time other than uh, prohibition, but. In recent history, what we're discussing is usually an amalgamation of a liberal twist on what has what actually happened. Take, let's take Texas Governor Rick Perry, who's probably come, came across as the most religious, and his his remarks in that ad, like when he says, "Oh, there can be an openly gay soldier, but there can't be X, Y, and Z in religion," he's not necessarily he's not necessarily saying that can happen. He was actually on the record of saying, I don't mind what other states do as far as um, gay marriage is concerned. It's not, it's not our place um, to tell states what to do. What he was saying is, is, is it's not an offensive attack. It's a defense. A, a lot, I mean, now that's not always the case, but I haven't, I have yet to see, um, I guess, that religious of a person make it that high up for a president in recent history. Um, oh no! It's always uh, politics. Yeah, uh, I'm just saying. It's usually. I, I I guarantee you, any fucking time a politician comes out hating homosexuals, regardless of what their personal opinions are or personal convictions are on the matter, they're doing it because their political advisor told them, if you don't stand against the fags, you're going to lose the Christian vote, and you need the Christian vote this time. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it, it's, it, you know, there, you, it's, the thing of it is, is that usually the position that I see is a, is a, is a defense rather than an offensive um, position when it, when it comes to religion. Now, that doesn't mean it's always true. I'm just saying that's at least what I've observed. And if I'm wrong, and I'd like somebody to point out other situations, and I'm sure maybe I, I, there are some, some places that I've overlooked, maybe at the state level, um, but I don't know all state policies for all 50 states. I, 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 I honestly the think level. the three issues that whoever the candidates are are probably going to be forced to make a stance one way or the other on. Let me think this way. I know, I, I've been, I've been to Democratic conventions. I, I, I went to Austin, you know, as a, a Democrat state delegate, okay? I, 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 I've, I've shared hotel rooms. You know, I, Democrats also are very anti-homosexual. Uh, no, I know, I, I know that. It, 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 here's the thing. I, I, it, like I, I said, it, the, those decisions are made based on which way the political winds are blowing, and it's about trying to get the, the good Christian vote. That's what that's about. You, you, you have to... You understand Democrats poo-pooing. A, a Greenpeace person came in and says, why don't we all just use buses to get to the convention? And they were booed. <laughs> booed by all the... I was like, I'm in the wrong place, man, or something. They, they, they were booed. For using buses, I didn't think it was a bad idea. I actually said, you know what? It would save me how much? I actually told her, I said, how much? Because I, 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 I'd sign on to it. I don't, have to, I don't have to pay all the damn gas, which is going to cost me, you know, probably 75 bucks anyway. So uh, I, was, I, I went up there. I said, well, you know, I'm curious. Obviously, they're not going to go for it. But if there was a carpool of some sort. So I actually ended up carpooling. I, I, I did. I took uh, a few others. And we carpooled. And these uh, are the save the environment people, the Democrats. <laughs> they could give a crap. They could give a crap. You know, but, um, but it, uh, to me, to me, the whole like when it comes, to the, if it's a real bad environmental problem, I'm usually on my my, uh, my uncle's a geologist. 
I, th I think we, we've talked about that before. Um, if it's really something like water table problems, then I, I'm definitely uh, involved in it. But it's, it's, when, some, when, the first person, when the first words out of somebody's mouth is attacked to solve a problem, I know that they're not for real. You know, no, they're making a political stance. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and on that note, what I was trying to say, here's what I think the three or four issues you're go that are, are going to be the issues of this election when we finally decide what the two candidates are. We're in the process now of still trying to figure out who the Republican candidate is, and we'll find out in the next few months. Yeah, it's either going to be Rodney or Santorum, but man, Rodney's having a hard problem. I mean, he's, it's... it's, it's uh, you, you know, uh, it, 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 I, 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 I did the math, and I'll, I'll go into this Saturday with James, but I did the math. The reality is, in spite of the points difference, given the amount of points outstanding, they're really not that far different. And the reality is, next month some story could come up to destroy any one of them. So, That's true. Uh, That's and, true. And, Absolutely. And, it's, it's <laughs> because wasn't, wasn't the race pretty much over last time, about the same time? Yeah, so, uh, ba ba basically, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to wait, I'm going to see who the remaining people vote for, and then we'll find out. I don't, I don't, mind, I don't mind Santorum so much. Uh, he, it seems like he's got a balance. I mean, he, he, he's a Pennsylvania governor, and he was uh, attacked a little bit by Perry about like the, the, uh, right, to, right, uh, the right to work state and you know, versus at will and all this other stuff, and his state was... Well, no, um, it's like the, the four uh, things, like I said, the, the three to four things were that, that the, the whoever the Republican candidate winds up being, and, who, and we know who, whoever versus Obama, both Obama and, and Obama's pretty much said where he stands on these things, but he's going to have to re-emphasize them and convince the American people that his opinion uh, makes the Republican candidate foolish. That's what he's going to have to do to get the independent vote. And, but yeah, that's, and, and, and basically, the, those issues are, you, you're right, the top one is the economy and the sub kinds of it. But honestly, to try and distract from the economy, I honestly see a couple of other issues being brought in. And that's going to be uh, the, the religious values card. Uh, yeah, but even Democrats are are, are I, I see the thing. No, no, no. I know that, but but but, but 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 I guarantee you that is I going know. to be played uh, in a as not as a main issue, but as an underlying issue of. Sure, but I don't think that's going to be. No, no, it's not going to be a main issue, but it's going to no, no, it's no, going to no, be I a. Don't think that would help. Obama Okay, but for the reason you're saying, the Republicans might try and play it, and if the Republicans try and play it, they're going to piss off. Santorum is Catholic and Romney's Mormon. I mean, if it were an evangelical, like, like Bush 43 and I have see, Bush 43, I could not stand. He did one good thing, which was the tax cut policies in 2003, and I liked what... Uh, 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 okay, bit... Bit, bit, you're, spent, bit, and you're thinking like a human being. For a moment, think like a politician. Good Christian vote, come to me. I'm the good Christian. That's, that's the evangelical rest. The Catholics don't behave that way. Ah, but if their political advisor tells them to, or their political campaign drive, I guarantee you it's going to be a factor. And if it winds up, if it winds up being like you're saying, Santorum the Catholic. Or is this all? Then the Obama campaign will play it because they know the Centaur. It, it's gonna get played. Issue no, no, sub I issue four sub issue two. Outside of Republican states, you know. Sub issue <laughs> two that is going to be played is I do, the. I don't think. I, I I acknowledge what you're saying. What I'm saying is 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 that I don't think that in any type of percent that Obama can benefit. From. Now, if the economy improves from here on out, then it's going to be tough. Uh, 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 okay, hold on. Let me get the issues out before you... Because I've been trying for now 20 minutes to get these three issues out. <laughs> okay. Just, was one. Well, okay, so what was Okay. 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 Well, then we're gonna. Then the other one, like it or not, that's gonna probably be played this election because of the issues with the don't ask, don't tell, and all the states trying to pass 
gay marriage things and then the you know assault on marriage sign I guarantee you there's going to be a subplot of uh, of the issues with homosexuality and homosexual marriage and homosexual rights in particular it's going to be played with the military card I guarantee it yeah Santorum did come out with a see the thing of it is, is here's, here's my thing is well Santorum said one good thing that, that, that I liked it's like what, why, why is the military concerned why should the military be concerned with sexual preference now here's the thing though um, I agree with don't ask, don't tell, and principle with one caveat. I don't, I, 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 and here's what I'm getting at. No one should be fired from the military if they do say they're gay. Or just say, you know. Well, but that was why they repealed don't know, ask, I know, don't I know, tell. I know, I know, I know. But. Because that was the policy. If you tell, <laughs> you're in violation, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But when I, when, see, when I, when I think of don't ask, don't tell, it's like not the military's business. Don't ask, and, and, and there's no, there's no reason. Do, do you want to know why it's an issue? I can explain to you the logistics of why it's an issue. It, it, it's kind of, you know, army and marines. It's like no, no, it's kind of depressing. But the logistics of why it's an issue, and I've heard plenty of these guys on the radio since "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" was repealed, talking about why it's an issue. And the reality is, you have individuals in the armed services. For them, it's an issue. They're, they're afraid of fags. They're like, I don't want fags around me. Basically, they don't want to know. And that's, and that's what the whole thing was about. They're like, well, we probably have some people in our units that don't like homosexuals, so we need them not to know. So basically nobody knows. We're just going to assume everybody saw it to make these people happy. And that, that's the... Oh. For unit cohesion, that was the logic yeah, okay, behind it. Okay, that's fine. Unit cohesion, but then, but but you know what? They need to grow up. Uh, I, I, I understand about unit cohesion, but the thing of it is, is that then the policy shouldn't be the well, way you're fired from the military. No, hell no. See, I, I would disagree with that. And, and, uh, but 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 I don't want somebody to go and just say. In, Oh yeah, I'm gay. Uh, 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 I, I'm not saying I'm. I, you know, well, no, I, 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 but bit right there. That's the exact opposite problem. That's people creating a lack of unit cohesion from the other side. You know that that both those two extremes are the problem. The reality is they need to be a good unit. They need to, and I agree with that. You know, a, a, a military unit is a single unit. It needs to have good cohesion. I tend to agree with you that for right or wrong, and there's going to be plenty of people who are going to stand up and go on this and go, well, that's not fair either, because the reality is, if somebody's in a unit where their CO is a homophobe and they realize one of their one of the people in their unit is a hom or there's one of the people in the unit is a homophobe, what's going to happen is the homosexual will be transferred to another unit, even though they didn't do anything wrong for for the sake of unit cohesion, and that's not fair. Life isn't fair. The military isn't fair. The reality is, uh, the, the, the the reality is, I I I have no. It's been a while since I've had direct experience with the military in any way, and all my experience yeah, in the military has been indirect. Yeah. But honestly, I would think I would think there are plenty of reasons in the military where it's like, you know what, you're not doing anything wrong, but you're screwing the cohesion of this unit up. You're going to another unit where this isn't going to be a problem. Marvelous now. I mean, you could be a nuthead. Like, I've run into a lot. That forget sexual preference. There are times where just somebody is just agitating me in personality and they get transferred out. And yeah. so, so sexual preference is just one of many things out there where people do get transferred. But I, I was saying what I was saying when I am against this firing. You, you, uh, the, the, the homosexual lobby will have to understand that sexual preference in terms of Okay, you're not going to get fired, and we'll do everything uh, to, 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 you know, not to, to you know, basically not make it insulting. And they will have the same protections as anybody else from, let's say, there's abuse because there is abuse in the military, regardless of sexual preference. If, if you look stupid, or I mean, it, there's it, it just exists because the people are just they're well. They and, okay, and to fired. play devil's advocate from the other side, and this is one of the reasons the homosexual lobbies wanted "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" repeal so much. Is they're like, well, well, they should be able to uh, serve in combat and serve just like anybody else, and basically they'll get. 
I, 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 I agree. It basically, it's not a perfect system. And the reality is, uh, while there are plenty of people on the planet who could give a crap if somebody is or isn't, they're like, I don't care, just do your fucking job. There are, there are still plenty of people that do care. And, 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 and there uh, are, absolutely right. Absolutely. I, 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 if you want me to come up with a solution for that, I can't you give can't, you one. You cannot legislate. Like uh, 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 yeah, I. Uh, it's. I, I'm sorry. I, I can't give you a solution. Yeah. And, and yeah, honestly, so there are. I'm. The I'm the there are. It's people. not my personal ethics to find it objectionable. Uh, it wigs me out because it's not the way I swing. But it's not my ethics to find it objectionable. I give a shit what can something adults do in their own private time. Um, but. Uh, um. The reality I, is, I, I understand. Me, it's, the, the, it's a little closer to home because I do have good friends. What up? And even, even when my wife married me, she felt uncomfortable. And I had to get her used to, um, you know, I guess more tolerant. Uh, no, 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 no. See, that, that, that's the thing. It, 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 my, I have no ethical objection to it. I also understand there are several people who have an ethical objection to it. And, and how to get people who have an ethical objection to it, and you know, and homosexuals to sit in the same room and tolerate? I, I I don't have a solution to that. I I cannot give you a solution to that. Well, you can give you can put a solution in the military because the military actually has its own law, and actually the military is outside in, in many jurisdictions because it is sole goal is to protect this nation. Yeah. Now, so long, so long as so long as the person. Not fired or abused, so that they can get transferred to the. Oh, oh, but you know what? Bit, bit. This isn't even the most screwed up thing in the military. I mean, honestly. What is it? I mean, like, because like when I hear this, I'm like, dude, there's so many, there's so much bigotry already. With oh, oh, no, no, God. I, I, in the military, it, it, you know, moving on to women. This is this is the other sub issue: women in combat and stuff. That is going to be an issue. And so now, I don't stand on that, but I will not lower the standard. No, 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 no. I agree. Uh, that's exactly where I stand on that. I don't give a shit what genitalia you have, as long as you meet the physical standards. And the reality is, if you can't carry the rest of your unit out, you don't meet the physical standards. I'm sorry, this is. It's not your gender. It's you can't lift. You can't yeah. do the physical standard. If you want to do the body work, that you can lift the weight. So basically, same physical standard across the board. Same shot. Same shot. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, 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 now, but the other issue that comes in also with women is, I mean, women can get pregnant. Men can't. And there are a lot of issues in a lot of military organizations that have to do with the uh, way. I'll tell you why, Rusty. I, I, like I said, I, I've served in two branches of the military. People, men go out and go ahead, I have a psychological problem. <laughs> just fucking witness this crap, man. I know. No, 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 no. Bit, bit. No, no, bit, bit. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the way the military treats a woman who happens to get pregnant uh, in a way that wouldn't... But, uh, there's a bit of a double standard there in some cases. Um, they treat a pregnant one because I, I, I've known several women that had babies there and they were, it was great. I mean, if they, they, they happen to be sleeping with another officer? Some, what do you mean sleeping with, you mean cheating going on? Infidelity. Yeah. And the woman winds up pregnant? Oh, well that's a different, but I mean, that, but that happens whether they're in combat or not. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I'll give you an, an example. I'm not going to say which branch of the military I'm not going to go into, but a, a woman officer sleeps around with a male officer. A male officer happens to be married. Woman happens to get pregnant. Military happens to find out. Anywhere else, this is purely a civil issue. In the military, your ass is kicked out. Or, or you take a mandatory downgrade in pay and you lose a bunch of seniority and other shit. And the reality, I, 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 I have really mixed feelings about that. Because, I mean, it, it, uh, yes, there's yeah, a little... Well, look, that's military law. There is, I, I, there are two I, I, sets of laws. I know that. The, yeah. And, and like I said, the fag thing is not the most fucked up thing in the military. That shocks the hell out of a lot of people that that's military law. Oh, dude, dude, you get to say you marry outside, you're already married, and then you join the military, and then you have a divorce with your wife. Oh, like, yeah, that'll screw you up, too. <laughs> yeah, if you have a divorce decree that says anything other than unrectifiable problems, like, 
it, it literally says that it was infidelity, you can get reprimanded in the military. Mm -hmm. It can be reduction in rank, it can be son all kinds of problems and other shit. Literally, you're put between, okay, you're going to be abused by the military for X amount of time, or you get kicked out of the military and lose everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, I, and, I, and like, anywhere... Yeah, so to me, it's like, to me, it's like, to the homosexual community, it's like, there, there are many more strides and movements we can make in society... Well, the ultimate goal is you, you don't want to have bigotry, but we can't ever end bigotry. That doesn't mean that we can't stop and say, look, there are some ridiculous roadblocks that they should be... Okay, able to call obtain. me naive. Um, but, but I, I, the military I, is military. However, I won't, I won't back a policy where they get kicked out. Um, and, and just like with any other type of abuse that happens in the military, they, they should be afforded the same protections. Now, if they want to say that we need to just put up or shut up, and they want to stay in the unit and they go through all these legal hassles. No, I, I, I'm not going to agree with that. I, I, they'll get transferred out just like any other hiccup with some other damn dude in there that gets transferred to some other thing. If you feel that, it's because in the, in the military, it's not your job to go out there and start broadcasting your emotional uh, grievances with society. It's it, You are in the military. Now, you can do that outside the military and should have great freedoms and support, but as a military, your, your scope of life is outside a civilian life, period. And um, I, I just don't think it's the job to have parades and, and march about being open, whatever your sexual preference is, in the military. It's just not the place for it. Uh, it, it, it but again, I go back and say you should never be kicked out for your sexual preference. So, so you don't you support the first gay naval kiss? <laughs> It's like, well, no, if you're on leave, or well, uh, you, you know what I'm talking that. about, right? No. It's tradition when a naval ship... Oh, you mean crossing the equator. No, the, the naval ship came into harbor, it's tradition, you know, kiss a loved one. Uh, and right after Don't Ask, Don't Tell got repealed, this little lesbian goes down and kisses her loved one. It's like, you know, it's a political grand statement. It's like, oh, look, to welcome the ship back to port, yada, yada, thing. I'm, I don't think, you know, outside, once you're on liberty or leave, that's... that's well, but that was part of, that's a, naval well, that, that's a naval tradition for good luck to welcome the ship back okay. to port. I, that's not a problem. Um... There is, though, even on, on, even on leave, you can be up and coming uh, on conduct. So. And, and yeah, that, and, and that, and and that was, military. and that was the thing where, the, <laughs> here, 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 here's why this is such an issue, okay, and this is why I said this is going to be an issue. Uh, basically, where that is, and it goes back to the same thing we were talking about, your legislating morality, it's the same crap we had when we desegregated the armed forces. You had people who were who had bigoted point of views, who you know were raised this ain't right, and regardless of the reason, what the thing you know, so on and so forth, it, it created rubs, and that's exactly the same shit that's going on right now with our, our, our honestly, I think our society figuring out how to figure out what to, the reality is that is what our society is doing we're trying to figure out what to do and how to how to deal really with yeah because yeah. Uh, but see I would hate to lose a soldier I, I uh, agree with you who it's, can be a badass I mean I've seen women marines kick the shit out of people you know and, and, yeah. and like I said if a female can make the grade serve alongside me and let's go kick the fucking enemy's ass. I mean, because there are some, I bet you there's some brilliant, uh, tactically minded women out there that can be awesome on the field um, and, and, and bring about some badass victories and spades and stuff like that. And oh, no, also, see, see then, you, oh, well, then you have the military people. I've heard these people on the radio, too, in recent, uh, in recent days. You know, it's like, oh, I'm sure those women make great, pilots and naval captains and son and and so on but they ain't got no business in combat and i'm like That's why what I mean, you're, you're essentially downgrading uh, opportunity and, 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 and increased potential to make our fighting forces even more effective because to me, I look at it very plainly. Uh, well, no, no. It, it logistically, logistically, it, it logistically, it should be the simplest thing. Logistically, it should be unit cohesion and physical requirements. As long as you're not screwing up unit cohesion 
And as long as you meet the physical requirements, you know, we set the bar here. This is the bar you got to meet. We don't give a shit about This is the physical bar. You have, it's like you have to be able to do X miles. You have to be able to carry a pack X. You have to, like, these are the requirements. This is what you must do. I don't give a shit what, what you are, how you sign, sign. This is the physical detail you got to do to do this job. And that, that's criteria one. And then the other one is, is a little more complex. It's the unit cohesion. And that has to do with, Unfortunately, where our society is. I, I mean, you know, but you know, sometimes, sometimes, like I said, dude, unit cohesion has so many. Oh no, no, there, there are plenty of other bullshit that can screw up unit cohesion. I All mean, kinds of stuff. I, I mean, I, 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 I don't think this, is, this, this, this would freak up. This, this too would surprise people, but I've heard crap about going on in the military where units have been uh, had a break of unit cohesion simply because of religious conflicts. Religion, religion. It, 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 religion, bathroom habits. Yeah. These are things I've always bathroom habits. Um, the way, uh, just uh, someone's accent. Uh, uh, well, and, and you know, to put it in perspective, I mean, think about the types of things, especially frontline units are doing it. I mean, take a sardine can apartment, like a seven hundred square foot apartment, and put ten people in it. Not ten guys, just this, put, put ten people in it. They're living in those quarters close together. And you get an idea of the type of crap that people are having to put up with on naval ships, on frontline camps, on sod and other conditions. And the reality is, those people got to get along with each other. Or It yeah. doesn't matter who's at fault, what the problem is. Whoever the one ain't getting along, even if it ain't your fault, Get the fuck out. It doesn't matter if what if what's causing the problem is one of the guys in there is living in their own trash, filling the place waist high, and the and one of the ten guys in there can't stand that the place is that much of a slob. They're not the one actually causing the problem, but because they're the one that has a problem with it, they're the one that goes. <laughs> And I'm sorry. Yeah, that doesn't always happen. That doesn't always happen. No, but, it depends on the commander. It, it depends on the commander and how they see it, but that is the simplest solution. And that's. You're right. Sometimes they'll kick the one out with the trash, cause, <laughs> but not always. <laughs> it, it just depends. Yeah. It also depends how valuable the one who has that particular habit was, the one that the trash is in other areas. If they're the best damn gunner on the ship, or it's like they're not going to kick them out. Because <laughs> it's going to have to be eight of the guys can't stand them. <laughs> And like I said, I don't pretend to have a solution to this. I'm just going through it. There is not. I mean, it's just, look, there is not. Because you can't legislate morality. But what you can do is just not be so damn extreme. And, oh, oh, and so, okay, since, since you're bringing it up and you and I saw it, where do you stand on the shower shit? One of the things that's brought up against women, especially in frontline units. Oh, you mean like, taking a shower in front of a woman? Yeah, the separate the separate uh, facilities. Do you think they should be mandatory, or do you think they should just have to sh be co-op? Because it is extra stuff for the unit to carry, and it's one of the arguments made against women. Oh, not in combat, dude. No, I mean it's like uh, in combat the unit has its limitor. I guess people are, that are saying they haven't been out in the field, man. You have your latrines regardless. If you're, or if you're latrines are easy. I'm talking about, like, shower facilities, Sean, and so There is already. I, and the, the field already has female male shit establishments. I mean... All of them? It doesn't matter if you logistically needed it. I mean, oh, put a curtain up or some shit. I mean, what? Uh, I mean, okay. it, 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 it's not that hard. It's actually not that hard. When you go... When you're out in the field, no one's showering. If you're if you're out there, you're not taking a goddamn shower, okay? You're taking you're digging your goddamn hole and shit in the fucking hole. Um, um, if you're like out in like let's say some of the uh, Af bases in, in Afghanistan, where you're out like in the lead in, in the mountains and stuff, putting like a, a, a damn fucking curtain out there, and let's say supplies are dropped every fucking week or, or some shit like that, there's not going to be there, there's not a logistical problem with okay. that. She's gonna shit in the same fucking hole, and piss in the same freaking hole, and, and have a, a shower head with a goddamn side curtain if she needs it. Now, that everybody wants it, men have privacy concerns as much as women. If if they're this that way, they're gonna do it. I mean, let's put it. Well, 
we'll be frank, it's just, when you're out in combat, especially like if you're on one of those rare posts that gets to play each week, morale and, 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 and ethics are, are deemed on what the, what the unit decides, essentially. So like if the female and the males are just okay with, with showering in front of each other, then that's going to happen. If they're not, then it's not going to happen. Okay. I mean, it, it's especially now. Now, even if you if you're even in, uh, you just say you go back to base or something. The base is already fucking equipped for all that. I mean, Jesus, you have you have places where you can play the Xbox 360 versus the PlayStation. Are you gonna tell me there's a content? Problem? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm just <laughs> saying what people have been arguing. <laughs> 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 you know uh, what? I mean. Uh, if you're under fire, the shower is the last thing you're going to think of. <laughs> and if the shower is what you're worrying about, you probably don't belong in I that don't unit. What, I don't know what you're thinking. If you're sitting there daydreaming about your shower, a fucking round's going to come and clip your ass, man. <laughs> Friendly fire! <laughs> what? But some of the crap I hear on about it, I'm like, it's a different planet. <laughs> it's not even really the U.S. It's planet yeah, U.S. It's military. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's its own the, little bubble world. <laughs> a lot of people are just really bigoted. And <sighs> you know what? Send all the bigoted people in their unit and let them be as badass bigoted as they want. <laughs> it's like a, And they become buddies and friends, and they still use the racial slurs, although it's more of a friendly thing at that point. But it's, I've, I've witnessed all kinds of crap in the military. The military is a whole different world. It's just a different world. Different, different laws, different focuses, and something is, is, is uh, the reason why I say don't ask, don't tell is, is, is short of kicking somebody out or. or which, well, but was that was the thing. You were in I violation. Know, you know, I don't want to, what I'm saying is that it's not your business to go start broadcasting. It's like when they say, I want to openly. Well, let's put it this way. Military conduct doesn't allow a heterosexual in a combat situation to get all let me you. There's a place where you go and you see your wife and your kids, and that's it. If that is the same guidelines to which you are followed for a homosexual couple, couple then that's fine. Um, the, but but if you're feeling that you're going to be like, um, if, if let's just put it this way, if a husband and wife were to comment in the same platoon and put a romantic relationship in front of them, they would get reprimanded. That is a breach of military ethical conduct, and especially, I mean, since you're in a combat situation. Well, like, okay, to play devil's yeah. advocate, like one of the places where don't ask, don't tell is creating a real issue wasn't just in that aspect. I agree with that aspect. When you're on the job, when you're on combat, when you're on duty, yeah, it should be the same standards across the board. Reality is, that's not what's going on. And you know what? For unit cohesion, if all the guys are making jokes about shit, you know, and they want to poke one at you for not getting the jokes, you know, okay, just whatever. You know, I, I've seen some, I've been around some chicks. I've also been around some lesbians that can make guys feel really fucking ashamed real fucking quick. And you know what? <laughs> I don't have a problem with them biting back as, as uh, much as the fellas will bite at them. You know, you jab, they jab back. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, where the issue was coming was off-duty. You know... Uh, well, then it's not... Well, it's no, not no but that had to do with the conduct I'm becoming. Heterosexual guy takes his girl out or, you know, takes a girlfriend of the moment out, goes out to the club and does all the other shit. Homosexual 
does the same shit. Going to the gay club, son, everything. Else. It's like, it's like, is this really the face we want of the I'm U.S. Saying, military? Let's say they go to the military ball. Okay, well, you know what? The same, the same bigotry exists whether it's a race color, somebody has their mustache all fucked up, or they just came from Iraq and someone's making fun of their how their beard grew out. Um, <laughs> you, that, no, it doesn't matter. That happens whether it's at a, a, a ball or, 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 or a fun occasion. It's just like, oh, look, that shit exists. It's just... Uh, you I'm know, in, in, in some respects, I honestly blame what we've done to our school system. When I was a kid, uh, kids bullied each other. They made fun of each other. They picked on each other. They picked at each other. Even took a yeah, swing. Even took a swing at each other sometime. You know what? At the end of the day, is boys being boys and girls being girls, and it really didn't have a shit to do with anything else. It, it was it was peer groups being peer groups and just establishing the pecking order. And that's the same type of shit that you're talking about that's going on. But the reality is, uh, I, I, I've based that on, that, that's not what we want. We've basically decided that's bad. You know, we don't want the pecking orders. We don't want the picking. We you don't. can't change that. That's not happening. Ever. That's how. Well, well, that's, that's the thing. Even if you outlaw it, it's still going on. Yeah, that's uh, military military. That's it. There's, there, I'm sorry. That... And, and that I won't, I won't destroy our military for the sake of some, which is a really a civil issue. Um, I'll, I, I will grant everything I just said, uh, but, sh but short of if, if they want to be forceful about it, and, and if there are problems, then no. I, the, the uniform... Well, well, you do the the Here's the thing. As long as what is defined as forceful is the same criteria across the board, you know, uh, then... That's fine. If it's a double standard, that's a different matter. <laughs> yes. And, and now, now, outside of the military, then that's a whole different ballgame. Well, I mean, but look at the regs for military shit. I mean, so much of it is subjective. Must be in a shape to be conducive to being in a to doing justice to the uniform. Like that's an entirely subjective thing, you know. <laughs> there are so many little things in the in, in every branch of the military's code where it's like, I don't like you. Fuck off. <laughs> you can interpret it that way if you want to. I mean, let's be honest. That's. Like, <laughs> I mean, the military is a very different animal. Laws that pertain to it that don't pertain to civilians. I'm just sorry. That's just part of the military. And you're not going to change it. And I would go against you if you want to change it. Because the military has these laws because its goal is an, an extremely important one. And it's something that has been tried and tested over time. Um... Uh, that that works. Uh, it can be it can be made to be malleable at times, but I'm not going to undermine the entire system for some uh, grievance that can really be addressed as any other within the military. Hello. No, I'm trying to think of a way to contribute to that. That's like it's. I, I honestly can see both sides of this issue. I, I, it's just the thing. I, I, I don't think there is both sides. I think uh, both sides are extreme and not pragmatic. They don't understand it, and, and, and that and I, I mean that's their problem. I mean I I I, I mean one of the things. Okay, I don't know if this is still military policy. You you like I said, you, you, your knowledge on the military because you've actually been in the military is so much better than mine. But somebody was telling me the other day, and I, I, I'm like, okay, maybe that has a place in corporate America, but not in our armed forces. They were telling me if a CO or a training officer is bashing on somebody, like they have a they have a stress card or a flash uh, card. That was tried at one time. It yeah, yeah I, I heard about that. I'm like, if somebody is going to fucking crap out on this, I don't want them in there because who knows what the hell they're going to do in actual combat. If they can't handle that, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, was, that lasted one cycle. That was actually in the 90s. When I got, I was, what did I? Jesus. Um, <laughs> 94. 
I think the stress cards went in the Marine Corps. Yeah, basically, like they held up the stress card, and whoever was doing something yeah, was like had to stop had instantly. Now, now Marine Corps boot camp has the, like the crucible and all kinds. It's even hard. It's supposedly harder now. So <laughs> that went out the window. Okay, good, because that really doesn't belong. If you can't handle that, fuck you. Yeah, if any other, I've been in the Army and the Marine Corps, and I don't think the Navy did it because the Marine Corps is, is, is uh, a division of the Navy. Um, and does the Air Force do it? I don't know. That's the one branch. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I highly doubt it. I really. I, 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 there was a point in time that it, that, that it was. Yeah, that was the stupidest thing I'd ever heard. It, it, and, and, I, and I don't like pushing people past the stress point, but honestly, for that particular, for what your duty is as a member of the armed forces, um, I'm sorry, you don't have a limit. And if you have one, we need to know what it fucking is. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm glad they stopped doing that then. Yeah, dude, that's, that's, <laughs> there was a period in time where mothers actually, it's, it, that, that, those kind of policies come from these organizations that are mothers of sons in the military and stuff. Right? Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> I, I, I realize that your baby boy or girl will always be your baby boy or girl, but they're, mm -hmm. but you know what? You can't protect them forever. <laughs> like, well, I mean, I don't know if you want to know where a lot of that stuff comes from, it, it's, it's that. At least when I was in, see, I, I haven't been in the military since 2000, 2000, I want to say 2003. Okay. Oh that being said, your information is still more complete than mine. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 well, and, and I know where the shit comes from, especially on that shit. I mean, the reality is we have psychologically fucked up some people when it came to military shit. And we don't know really where the lines are. The reality is we don't really know where the lines are in people in general. It, it's more uh, what what breaks one person makes another one stronger. You know, they're, they're, I don't think you could really create an iron side set of rules for that. Some people internalize, some people externalize, some people just let it go and make let it make them stronger. Other people they can't ever let it go, and it'll break them for the rest of their life. It's, uh, I don't think there's, to my knowledge, there's no way to really predict that. You know, what, what um, you know, we, we try to with psychological tests, but anybody who has any familiarity with those understand they have like a 25% inaccuracy rate, so even they're not perfect. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I mean... So, all right. So, what's the next political topic? Because we've really, God, we went off on this thing. We really went into that one. Uh, what else? I had another issue, and now I can't remember it because we went all off on this one. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right. You want to pause and get, maybe get some drink or something? Yeah. What time is it? Two six.